What's up guys, Rob from ClicksGeek, and this video today, we're gonna go through AdWords audience targeting, and I'm just gonna kinda walk you through briefly um, the different choices you have. All right, so first off, I have to I have to say this, if you are a local business, like, uh, like a fencing company, a roofer, a contractor, um, you know, a limo company, I really wouldn't mess around with audiences at the moment until you're more advanced with what you're doing. It's really important. So this is for more advanced targeting, okay? So if we log into our demo fence company campaign here, you can come down here to audiences. And it's going to give you some options if you hit that little plus button. So it's observation targeting is recommended if we hover over that. Let you view reports and additional criteria without further narrowing your targeting to only show ads for these criteria. You have the option to adjust bids based on the reporting, which is pretty cool. So you can adjust bids based on the targeting. All right, so let's go through here. So browse, detailed demographics. Who are Who's your ideal client? All right, that's what you got to think of when you're in this column. Who is your ideal client? If we hit over here, you have some options. So are they, what's their parental status? Are they parents? Do they have kids? Let's keep going down further. Do they have Do they have infants? Do they have toddlers? Do they have preschoolers? You can kind of see it gets a little creepy. Do they have parents that are thirteen? To, they have is there are they parents that are um, have teens that are thirteen to seventeen? And it gives you a little statistics right here of the demographics. Now, obviously, this is showing for all the United States, not your targeted location, but you get the idea. So that's the uh, parental status options. If you come down to marital status, are they married? Where is it? Hold on. Where is it? There we go. Okay. All right. Are they married in a relationship? Single? Again, creepy, but Google has this data on, on a lot of their users. So you can target single people or married people only or, you know, or people who are just in a relationship, which I don't know how Google knows that they're just in a relationship, but <clears throat> whatever. All right. Education. Current college students, so you can actually go after people who are in college right now, or are they a high school graduate, bachelor's degree, advanced degree, all right, so you have some options here, so let's put these all back up so we're not getting confused, all right, so we did parental, we did marital, we did education, and here's a good one, this is a really good one, home ownership status, are they homeowners or renters, all right, and you can differentiate your campaign between the two of these. So th those are just a, a couple options that they that they offer. Now, if we're a fencing company, obviously we want to run our campaign to people who are homeowners, <clears throat> so we would choose that. So that could be a targeting criteria that we add. Now, again, guys, if you are not an advanced PPC user, if you're if you don't know what you're doing, don't mess around with audience targeting because you're just narrowing down your pool of prospects by doing this. All right, so I'm just going to keep layering on different targetings, but the more you add, the more narrow your uh, your targeting is going to get because Google obviously doesn't know if everyone's a homeowner who who's searching. All right, and then people, the people that are not homeowners or Google doesn't know, they might not show for. So that's important to understand. So if we come back up here, that was under the browse feature. We'll come back down here. What? What their interests and habits are is the next one, which is affinity and custom affinity audiences. And you come down here, you can just choose. So for for a fencing company, maybe we're doing a home and garden, so we could do that and drop down. So no, that's not something we want. They might not have an interest for what we're looking for, but you can see here if you hover over this stuff, it gives you some quick hit statistics. Related audiences, top YouTube categories you can target if you're going after YouTube. So there's a lot of stuff here, and, they, and each of these have drop down boxes, and some with more drop down boxes. So you can dig, you can really drill down. So gamers, and it tells you the types of games and stuff like that. So this is something definitely that you should be playing around in, in your, um, in your targeting for what your your niche is or whatever. You definitely want to be in here and just see what's going on. All right, so next one, how they have interacted with your business. So this is basically for remarketing um, and lists like that, which I don't have anything here besides our Clicks Geek stuff. So that's all remarketing and stuff like that. And combined audiences is just more lists we have already have. 
stuff like that. You can go over here to get ideas for in market. So this is people Google is in market audience is basically people who Google thinks are in the market of finding a service or looking, you know, for this one, it says commercial properties for rent. Google might think based on that user search history that they are in the market to rent a commercial property. Okay. So that's how these categories work. So if there's real estate, you can come in here, new houses for sale, pre-owned apartments for sale, commercial properties. So you got to be careful because it can, it can get a little broad, but like if you're a realtor, it might be good to do residential properties as a in-market audience or, you know, if you, for sale, stuff like that, residential, ugh, residential properties for sale. So there's a lot of options here. Obviously guys, I, I'm not going to go through all these in this video. I'm just kind of touching over the topics of the audience targeting and what's available to you. I highly suggest highly that you guys get in your campaign and you just dig in here and just start looking around the different categories and see if any of them apply to your campaigns because they definitely work if you do it correctly. It's just a matter of, um, finding the right audience. So you even have a search function here. So if we're in the fence company, so if we did fence, it would suggest in market audiences to us. So garden sheds and outdoor structures. So this is telling us people interested in purchasing garden sheds or other outdoor structures. But I don't know if that's something that's really broad. Definitely not something I would be going after. General contracting and remodeling, that's really broad too. Yeah, too broad. But, you know, if I was a roofer, check this out. Roofing services. People, so Google's going to show your ads to people interested in hiring professionals to coat, repair, or replace a roof. Related audiences, general contracting, remodeling. So it's telling, Google's telling you in the related audiences here, hey, if you're going to do roofing services, you should also try these ones. And you can, you can obviously choose these. And then um, once you get some data, like seven, 14 days, you can come in and adjust bids on the audiences. So you can adjust the bids on these, or you can just pause the ones that didn't convert for you and stuff like that and kind of try and dial, dial it in that way. So that's pretty much the uh, audience targeting. Obviously I've just brushed over it. There's a lot that goes into this and that's for a total, that's for another video, but Definitely the best advice I can give you guys is just to get in here and just start searching. I would do search. That's what I would do. I would come in here and start searching for, you know, if let's say we're a roofer. Roofing services, garden sheds, remodeling, see flooring, home improvement. I mean, it, and it's giving you all these subcategories too that you can target. So definitely get in here and start playing around with this. And um, if you guys have any questions about audiences or anything like that, just drop them in the comment section below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.